Alright, this is Brutal is my middle name. And first of all, subscribe to my channel. I love it. Um, but uh, first of all, I'm gonna, what I'm going to explain is some of the lyrics that I do. Uh, this They are all Christian bands. I don't do anything that's not Christian. Um, I'm a Christian myself. First song I'd like to explain to you is Sassfrass. It's uh, by the Devourish Prada. It's on there with Roots Above and Branches Below album. <laughs> So, uh, basically, it starts out saying this is basically the whole song, the whole album seems to be, to me, I mean, this is only my personal in interpretation of it, seems to be about, like, the church in America today and how it's just, like, it's, it's, it's going away from, from Christ, like, Christ representing the roots and then the branches being all the things that we argue about, all the things that are stupid and just petty issues that our churches worry about these days, um, it starts out saying, this is the faith complex, like I said, it's talking about all the churches in America, everything, you know, the all the religious stuff that goes on, and then it says, where all it takes is another step so then we can step again. It's just talking about all these churches who, who are like, oh, you know, all we have to do is do this, and then we can get all these people, and like, they just think, you know, it's all about people, it's all about getting people in the church, it's all about numbers, it's all about how many is in your church, you know what, I'm going to tell you that that's not right, first of all. Um... And it's right after that says it's not all about the numbers. That's what he says in the really deep part. He says it's not all about the numbers, and he stresses that very big because it's not. Because really, what it's about is winning people over for Christ, and numbers does not do that. Numbers does not do that for your church. All that says is look how big we are, look how awesome we are, look how much money we make. And I mean, I'm not. I'm not condemning every big church. I'm saying that there are a lot of them out there that are this way. It says this is space complex. Uh, try not to rely on. Try not to. Oh, this, these lyrics are wrong. I hate this. These lyrics are wrong. Uh, try not to write another disappointing letter to integrity. Um, I can't exactly explain that part, so I'm just going to keep moving on. Like I said, this is something, this stuff that I've thought about. Uh, it says, only go faster when you stop and thought. So there's so many churches that are like, oh, they're getting on a roll. They're like, oh, yeah, we, got to, we do all these things, get all these places, and they don't stop and think about what the true meaning of church is. And it says... Only go slower when you've learned wisdom. Same, same kind of thing. They, it's like you need to slow down. You need to learn of wisdom. You need to do all these things. Everything is a question of goodwill, but we're too busy delivering answers with arrogance. Like we're the churches are just going so far. They're just like, oh yeah, just do it. Just do it. Who cares? Like get it done. We don't care. It's, and they don't really focus on what the scriptures say and what the churches, what the what what really needs to be done. What Christ has to say about it. Um, it says, isn't it funny how one's compassion diminishes when his or own his or her own perils rise? Now, there's so many people today that they think, oh, as soon as, as soon as something in their life goes wrong, it's all God's fault, and it's the end of the world, and so like it says, their compassion for their compassion for God diminishes when their perils rise, and really, that's just another time for us to grow. Because if you think about it, um, in the middle of mountains where there's a valley, representing like the low parts of our life, that's where the vegetation grows. That's the, and on top of the mountains, on the high parts, there's no vegetation. There's nothing that grows up there. So really, all the growing is done in the valley. That's kind of what you can look at it like that for anybody's life. Um, it goes on to say, it's not all about the numbers. It says, what should we ask for? This is uh, Jeremy singing in the part. He says, what should we ask for? Who should we look to if all we know is burning bridges? Um, just talking about, you know, asking who we should look for, who we should look to. And don't speak to me like I'm a stranger. Turn your thoughts to the roots, which is Christ. As we've all been caught up in the branches, the branches being the silly, petty things that we argue about. And, uh, uh, don't run if you don't know your walk. I love this line. This line really just says, if, if, if you don't understand Christ, Christianity, and what you're doing, then don't, don't run on it. Don't, don't just take off because you're going to fall. You're going to fall. Don't go. If you don't know how to run, you're going to fall. You've got to learn how to walk before you learn how to run. That's what it's saying. Don't run if you don't know your walk. This kind of says, you know, this is... This faith complex. This is a memoir to friends persisting, and I'm really not exactly sure what what they meant by that. And um, other than that, that's what, pretty much what I got about it. But their whole album is pretty much about just churches in America and how we need to get back to the roots, which is Christ. Thanks, guys. Here you go, Steve. <laughs> Here's a drink you want. It's root beer. <laughs> <laughs>